Adam, welcome to Doncaster Rovers. Talk us through how this move's come about for you. Um, about a week and a half ago, um, just got a call from the manager. Um, so I'd like to come down and have a look at the, have a look at the place and, and meet everyone and stuff. And I did that, and then uh, straight away um, went back and said, let's try and get something sorted. Um, you can tell there's some good people at the football club. Um, it's a challenge that I want to be a part of. The manager's spoken a lot about needing some experience, some a bit of steel in that midfield department. Do you feel like you can bring that? Um, yeah, well, hopefully I can. I can bring that sort of experience I've had throughout my career, um, the scenarios I've been in, um, and, and bring that to the to the forefront and try and help everyone here. And hopefully they can help me be be better than I am, um, and I can help them be better than they are. Um, that's all we can all we can try to do. It's a relatively young group, sprinkled with a bit of experience, the likes of Tommy Rowe and Tom Anderson, the skipper as well. Are you looking forward to, to adding your experience to it? Oh yeah, of course. I think uh, I learned a lot from um, sort of the experienced players when I was young. Um, I still keep, keep in touch with, with a lot of them. Um, so I know how big an influence you can have on, uh, on the younger player. Um, and like I said, there's some very good young players there. Um, so hopefully with that mix of experience and youth, we can uh, get ourselves out of the situation we're in. I know you've been out of the game, so to speak, for a little while since leaving Birmingham. How important was it that this move was the right one for you in choosing your next club? Yeah, it had to be right. I, had, I needed a, a challenge. I needed um, a club that was trying to do something and speaking to, to the manager and stuff. You know, the, you can tell the, the, the situation the club's in is not where um, the people wants to be. Um, and it was to get out of that and, and try and kick on and um, yeah, it's about the challenge and I, I definitely think that um, Doncaster are, are going to give a, a right good go in the next few years to, to try and be as good as it can be. And you come in off the back of a, a really good win at MK Dons at the weekend, were you sort of watching on for yeah, that? Yeah, so the, obviously it was the, the, the talks were going on in the background and I was saying to the manager I already had the feelings in my stomach with five minutes to go with like, hold on like, uh, praying that they weren't going to score, like my missus texted me saying it's night, it was five, why is he not blowing whistle? So that's the feeling that I missed, you know, just uh, the, having that sort of care and, and love for something. Um, and it was, it was a really nice feeling to have and hopefully it, it, it can last for, for a long time, yeah. And a big boost for everyone as well to, to close the gap on the on the teams of both, heading into a really good, good tougher run fixtures, but a, an exciting one as well. Yeah, of course, I mean, I know. More than, more than most, that if you, if you put a few wins together in this league, in the space of a week you can get nine points um, in a lot of the, a lot of the weeks in, in this league. So um, it's definitely achieve, achievable. Um, again, speaking to the manager and the staff, they definitely think it's achievable. Um, there's some top players there, like I said, and if we can, we can get on the run of uh, winning a game like we did uh, Saturday, uh, with, with that young group, the confidence grows and you, you start peeling off a few wins. So. Yeah, hopefully we can we can stay on the on the right track now, and if I can be a, a big part of that, that's what I'm here for. It's an 18 month deal to start with. Is the key for you just finding a, a new home and, and sort of having that sp stability again? Yeah, of course. I think there was a there's a lot of six month offers out there and, and things like that, but I didn't I didn't want to do that. I wanted a, a project of my own, a, a, a sort of a place to, to live and be, um, and try and achieve with, with with that whatever it may be. And I think Doncaster. They, they fit that um, football-wise and uh, everything about the club really. It's a, it's a good club, it's got a good, good fan base, great stadium and it's potential, it can potentially play in the Championship which is where we all want to be. Um, it was there for a long period of my career um, and that's the, that, that'll be the main aim over the next couple of years. You mentioned that you've probably come up against Rovers a fair few times in your career. For any supporters who haven't seen you play, what can they expect from, from Adam Clayton in a Doncaster Rovers shirt? Um, Hopefully, like I say, organisation, um, being a leader, um, keeping the ball moving, getting the team playing, um, try to settle everyone down in, in the, the, the big situations. If you want it up, five minutes to go, things like that. Hopefully, that's when I could dictate and, and try and try and keep us on, a, on an even keel.